Got a lot to get into today. Last night was the NXT Great American Bash, and it was uh, pretty great, I won't lie. The uh, Tag Team Championship match opened the show. MSK beat Ciampa and Thatcher to retain the titles. And just boom, 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 boom. One of the stories of the match was Thatcher and Ciampa kept making mistakes. And uh, sometimes long time, t- especially like the, the Young Bucks, you know, they do that in every single match. One of them actually super kicks the other, et cetera, et cetera. For some reason, I watched it in this match, and my presumption was they're going to break up Thatcher and Ciampa, which made me very sad because those men are a great team. But anyway, they uh, did a small package finish where Lee pinned Thatcher. So all that talk about how they're the underdogs, they're not as good, blah, blah, blah. Well, they proved why they're the tag team champions. That was great. We had a Karrion Cross Johnny Gargano face-to-face. I'll talk about that later. L.A. Knight versus Cameron Grimes. I thought this was a really good match. Some people weren't blown away by it, but I thought this was very good. Uh, they went back and forth, and and Knight ended up giving him a DDT on the million dollar belt outside the ring, threw him into the ring, and then uh, hit his uh, stunner, even though it's not. I mean, it is, and uh, pinned him. So Knight retains the million dollar belt clean, and Cameron Grimes must be his butler. We'll see how this turns out next week. They announced everyone for the breakout tournament. Thank God. I mean, I can read you the names, but you're not going to know who any of them are because even the people you would know, they've changed their names. So anyway, they're going to be starting up here next week. Zoe Stark, Io Shirai versus The Way. Match was just kind of there. I didn't think it was all that special. And then the lights went out, and in fact, the recharged battery hit 100. It was Tiga Knox, and uh, she came out, and she distracted Candice LeRae, And Candice LeRae ended up being... Actually, she pinned Hartwell. Uh, Zoe Stark pinned Hartwell. And uh, they won the titles. And so now, I guess we'll have uh, Io Shirai versus Candice LeRae for the uh, third time. And then Dexter Lewis came out and he carried Inti to the back. So, I mean, it happened. People get Io and Candice, though? Really? With Candice looking like she's going to be tied up with Tegan? Yes. We're going to get both. I think. We had uh, the Hit Row Cypher Celebration. You which ever been was in a Cypher, boss? The greatest. Bro, uh, don't even get me started with my my uh, Cypher history. But anyway, they had a great uh, concert, and some people hated it. I thought it was awesome. I mean, yeah, if you're going in there thinking you're going to get like a, a, a Wall-A concert, well, you're not. But like <laughs> for the act, for what they're doing, their heels, I mean, I thought it was great. This top dollar... Oh, There's a lot I could say about Top Dollar, uh, but uh, he is Top Dollar. And then Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, they just had a, res- a professional wrestling match coming off their last man standing or false count anywhere or whatever the last match was. Now they just wrestle, and uh, the match was great. They're two great wrestlers, but at the end of the day, it was like Adam Cole pins him. And then he stands there and the show goes off the air. It was like, there was no angle. There was no, like, where are we going? There was nothing. It was just, we had a great match. The bad guy won and the show ended. So it's like, is he next for a carry and cross? Um, what's, what's, I mean, with all due respect, what's the point? I mean, the guy's been here for four years. He beats Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, and then, now what? I have no idea. So the other thing that I got I want to spend just a few moments on was Johnny Gargano and Karrion Cross. Listen, I I like Karrion Cross apparently more than most people and uh, I'm a big fan of like Johnny Gargano's professional wrestling. With that said, what in God's name is going on? Okay. Mm. So the last couple of weeks Johnny Gargano was put in a babyface position, okay? But then on this show, he comes out, and he's a total heel. And I don't know what he actually weighs, but he looks like he weighs about 145 pounds. And Karrion Cross is this big, giant monster. And I, I think they're, I think Karrion Cross is supposed to be a heel, but like especially after last week, he was total babyface to me. So, like, I don't even know what's supposed to be happening now, but 
Gargano's being a cocky heel. Karrion Cross is all irritated with this little fly. Me as a viewer, I want to see Karrion Cross destroy this guy. But like the fans are chanting for Gargano. Like I I don't have any idea what's going on. I have no earthly idea what's going on. They're going to have a match next week. It's for the title. I have no idea why. I mean, I don't I have no idea why Johnny Gargano is going to get a championship match. Samoa Joe is going to be the referee. Karrion Cross did this this line about how he dreams every day of being NXT champion forever, headlining WrestleMania, and being the WWE champion. Apparently that line was written just to get the internet talking, which they have been all day, so congratulations to them. I can't imagine... I can't imagine this Johnny Gargano character beating Karrion Cross and winning the title. If Karrion Cross beats Johnny Gargano, like... This whole thing, everybody, I mean, whoosh, over my head. I'm sure somebody listening to this going, oh, well, how can you not get it? Uh, well, explain it to me then. And I don't want the simplistic explanation of, well, they're going to have a match next week. Why is Gargano getting a match? Is he a heel or a bit? Is, is, is carrying it? I don't know what's going on here. And the key is I don't care. So they've done a poor job with this feud. I don't know what's going on. I don't care. I will be aghast if this little fly, this guy that they've, they've, I just, I'm, I, it's, it's beyond my understanding. Can you explain any of this? Uh, no, now I'm just thinking of new names. Johnny Flytrap. Uh, Johnny. He's not a flytrap. He's the fly. His character is an annoying little fly that, 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 uh, carrying crosses just keeps swatting away. And then they announced Fly versus Man in a championship match where I think the Fly is supposed to be the baby face, but like he's, they don't even portray him as like, I guess, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get this feud at all. Bottom line is he, well, because he's Johnny Speed Bump right now for Karrion Cross, he, and he's going to be Johnny Canvas back once he, Karrion Cross gets done with him. This is Santos Escobar. Finn Balor, Oni Lorcan, they've put Karrion Cross in there with guys that can do a lot and accent his bigness. And that's what they want to try to do to continue to get this guy over the, the best they can. They're taking reality and the fact that everybody knows this guy has worked. Uh, the SmackDown undercards and things like that. They're taking advantage of the fact that the people are pushing back on Karrion Cross. The funny part is, though, like you're mentioning... With the way they, Gargano has been, you know, the way they've made him look over God knows how long and becoming a comedy figure, throwing him into this spot and pushing him, you know, I, it may work the other way. Maybe can I, they can can I get jump carried. in for just a second based on something sure. you said and something someone here said on the uh, on the chat? So you said that the fans are pushing back on Karrion Cross, And this person says, Cross is the problem. It's NXT's inability to create credible baby faces. Dude. Are they pushing all, yes. back? Like, is he supposed to be a baby face? I don't Cross? have any idea. I, no idea. Well, they, and the thing is, he should just be dominant badass champion, but there's a way to frame him that way that makes him the opponent of everybody. And I think they've tried to do that, but I don't know if NXT fans obviously are, have not warmed to him in that way. And I think he's a default heel, but they haven't really done anything to actually, I don't know, really establish him as a heel. I would have beat up Gargano in theory last week, too, if I were him because of what they did. So, yeah, there hasn't been a great establishment in this, but I do wonder... Once he gets done with Gargano, yes, Kyle O'Reilly did lose to Adam Cole, but would O'Reilly be the guy to take the title off a of cross or be a good person to be the next one for carrying cross to face? Did I just know that Shawn Michaels was a great babyface and he was a great heel, and Triple H was a great babyface and he was a great heel, and they're putting the show together, and there's zero... <sighs> I hear the music! Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.